action that happened from passing through headquarters, you're going to look for either a knee cut, knee cut, and knee slice of the same thing. Okay? So when I'm going this way, it's more of a knee drop. So I'm dropping that knee, and I'm controlling his posture, his hips, controlling this, his, uh, his left leg here, so I can begin to before he closes. Gotta keep it stable. When I go that way, cross, that's a knee cut, knee slide. So the knee slice is much more common because it's a lot harder to get through here because he's gonna now just kinda, yeah, and, and you shift your weight right across here. As I staple his knee right here, okay, he much more easily can get a knee through here and get into an issue. I wanna keep this grip here, March one, okay, so that I'm able to control at least this posture here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the bottom of his knee and I'm gonna get through here. And go like center knee to the belly. I'll push this through here. Okay. If he pushes me into a three-quarter mount, that's great for me. Because what I can do from here is I can begin to But the point is, they're going to push you either in a knee cut or a three quarter mount. Yeah. Typically, they'll push you in a knee cut. So here, as you yeah, see, he'll pull me to his right to lift here. And all you do is just get here. The problem is, is that there's usually separation here, and they'll typically go for a knee shield. So he goes knee shield here. But I keep this here. My left, a good knee shield. Yeah. So you go right in that center. Right. Typically, they'll push that knee across because you don't want it pushing down right on your st stomach, right under the spleen. trying to get control here. feel them push through. There's no reason to stop because he's too flat for him to use his legs to catch your leg. Does that make sense? Do is get a good grip here, reach to pull my head in, 
So your fist can align with my shoulder. Yes. And now, as you bring my knees from 3 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Yes. And drive the knee through. Yes. You know, pressure here. Keep your foot off the net. And drive that knee into my stomach. There you go. This hand right here, push that knee. Yes. This is where that happens. That's typically the chain of events that happens in that situation. Don't want my foot to be right in the, you know what, because pushing this one. Right That's it. Pushes my shoulder and will be flat, drive that knee in. Yes. Look, you don't want this. See, I can begin to shift this way over me if I have this hook. Because I can back it up with this hook. I can lift it up. So you don't want that. You want to push that through and get off that hook. Which creates a lot of pressure here because I can keep him on the shin and I can back it up here and I can just lift him up. Okay? So here. Headquarters. Let me now. Okay? Pull me in. Post that left hand up. Yes. When you're tilted at this angle, it's a good angle for you to pull this elbow into your knee, into your thigh, plant this foot, and drive that right into your thigh. Yes. Right there. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, right there. Now shift your knee to your left. This one. To your right. To your left. Cut the knee. There you go. Yes. Yes. Look, if that foot is in the way, take a push my shin down, take a big All step. Right, there you go. Now from here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it through. Push that foot past your there. Yeah. And I've cut. Does that make sense, guys? That's just the way that it happens for me. So what you don't want is you don't want your foot to get caught if you go slow. So. Look, right here, now start moving it across. This to happen. Okay, because now he's got to get the underhook, the right hand. His head drops to my same side shoulder. Left hand cups. Move my move, 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 before you go. Let me flat. Put your right hand on the mat. You're walking and your head. Look up. Now push that shin right into my uh, what, there you go. And I cut it. Okay, but that's only because he stopped. Alright? So let's try it. One, two, three. Lift that knee. Get the knees from 3 o'clock to 12.